Hello everyone. Welcome to the BI Wizkid YouTube channel. We are going to add a clear filters button today. So I've been playing with bookmarks quite a little bit recently. You might have seen my previous video around creating a navigation uh, navigation pane for your reports, which is quite cool. So I've also created a clear filters button uh, for some of these reports as well. So if we take this particular report, so this is a crime data overview from the .gov website and uh, freely available data. We're looking at month of April 2017, number of crimes, etc. And just a breakdown of those. So let's just go over this quickly. We can break down York, look at the LSOAs in York and the different types of crimes that happen there. We can have a look at the number that are investigation, etc. And look at the percentages that are given drugs warning, not in public interest, etc, etc. So just a basic report we've got here. But what we could also do is use our filters at the top to let's say, OK, let's pick up Derby. Uh, and then we can filter it down to bicycle theft and fill that down to under investigation and let's fill that down a bit further to chest field so we can see this filtered down now but now if I want to go back and say actually I want to look at a different constabulary there's nothing there users who don't know who don't understand who haven't had much use of Power BI will probably confused and not know what to do so and what we we know we have to do we either use the filters to go and unfilter and I don't, I don't know if you've noticed uh, the rubber sometimes disappears in these uh, filters for Power BI and uh, the only way you can go and untick them is to sort of physically go and untick them so we need an easier way to do this so we can create a, a clear filters uh, button that will just clear all our filters and get us back to where we started so First of all, what we need to do, we need to go and get an image, uh, and I've got one ready here, a clear filters image. Okay, I'm going to import that, and I'm going to put that on my little area that I've created over here. Okay, then I'm going to give this a quick title for the clear filters. Background black, font white, back in the center. Okay. Second, we need to make sure that all our filters are clear, which they look like. So we've got 29k of crimes, which is about right. And we're going to go to our view, we're going to grab our bookmarks pane, we're going to add a bookmark here whilst the page is clear. And I'm going to call this clear filters. Okay. Now I can close that. I can click on the filters and I can then link it to itself. Okay, so link that to the page. That's done. So now I'm going to go through to Derby again. And I'm going to go to Bicycle Theft. And I'm going to just click on Chesterfield. And have a look at that. And I'm going to go back to my reported by. Uh, uh, why do I get it? I'll tell you what. Let's just clear filters. And boom cleared there you go back to the beginning Essex let's go into Essex let's look at burglary what's the outcome under investigation okay right now I want to go and look at Staffordshire yep got it there excellent okay now I want to go on bicycle theft okay Where's the rest of my list here? So you know what? Clear filters. Boom. Back to the beginning. Start again. Can clear our filters using bookmarks. Get back to the beginning. Give the users a good experience. Easy experience. Easy way to get back to where they started without faffing about with all these drop downs and rubbers and, and whatnot. Okay. Thanks for watching. See you soon.